Hey guys, it's Vince. Today I want to discuss a client system. This is Shan's system over at Works Holsters. Now Shan's a unique individual. Uh, he actually owns, this is going to be my third or fourth, I think my fourth system that I built for him. Um, this particular system is a total custom design. Not only is it custom design, but he's getting two of my newest products and I upgraded his system to include them for free. He doesn't know it yet, so in this video he's going to see what he's actually getting. Um, again, he's getting the Master Edition enclosure. You can see we've wired it already to incorporate uh, the actual spindle output. So the GX16 6 pin right here is wired with all of his actual uh, wiring diagram on the system. So if he ever needs to service the system or doing initial hookup, everything is right there. Uh, but one, one of the unique features we'll come in and discuss on this system is that he's getting my new Rev 248 volt power supply. And if you look and focus in here, and I don't know if she can see it. Can you see it okay? There you go. You can see this is not a standard power supply, okay? My standard power supply has three terminals for V negative and three terminals as standard for V positive. This is my new Rev 2 version, which now includes a terminal block featuring 10 outputs on both V negative and V positive. Why do we do that? Because if you look over here where we only have the ground bus, we don't need a V negative terminal splitter because now the power supply is doing that work for us. Only power supply on the market in 48 volts that features 10 outputs. Okay, not only that, but the system also features, here's one right here that I've got, Internally, it's got an integrated EMI filter that I designed. Okay, so again, very unique power supply designed around CNC. So you can see here your terminal blocks. This makes your initial hookup for all of your accessories very quick and easy. You do not no longer have to split and add a V negative terminal splitter because the work has already been done for you integrated into the power supply and everybody is uh, very familiar with these terminal blocks very simple to use and again we do still go with the standard uh, bolt down terminals for our live neutral and ground but the EMI filter is an actual integrated EMI filter it's not a toroid filter you'll see that in the listing for these when they come up but one of the newest products is this unit and it is amazing it works amazing and it's very very simple to hook up Coming into the system, you can see we just have his ground bus allocated, and that's again for the ground drain coming in from the GX16 6 pin. Done many videos on this, nothing new. Uh, ferrites installed on the signal cable coming from the 540 all the way over to the relay, which again filters our signals. Uh, we've got another ferrite internal here going from all of the manipulation signals from the G540 to control the RPM in the actual spindle and VFD. Um, and then coming over here, uh, you can see that we've got our relay mounted, toollessly mounted, everything here is all set and he's ready to go. Along with, of course, the custom graphic set. So when he needs to service the system, everything is right there for him. Okay, so whether he's hooking it up or servicing it, you've got all your information. Now, another item that he's getting that I've worked long and hard on, I've had a lot of requests for this from a lot of different clients. Um, this is my new DS flexion cable. And when I say it's mine, you can see eDealer Direct Automation is on the cable. Okay, this cable is one of the most unique in the industry. Let me explain. And listen carefully, please. This cable is rated to 10 million flex cycles. Okay, very, very flexible. The MBR is actually printed on the cable. You can see it right here, which is minimum bend radius. It's eight times the outer diameter of this cable. Now, this is my 20 by 5 lead. Okay, you can see it's printed on the cable, 105 degrees Celsius. It's also voltage rating is 600 volts. So, again, normal 20 gauge is usually rated to 300 volts. This is 600 volt in copper core conductors. You can see this is actually designed to be plugged in to his 6 pin GX16. And then on the opposite end, we have soldered and crimped the actual ferrules on to actually allow him to connect to his VFD. And you can see how flexible these are. Now, these new leads, you can see, you notice our yellow and green stripe. I've had a lot of clients want this and request this type of ground. Um, and this is more for commercial clients, but I know everybody's going to appreciate it. The flexibility of these leads just has to be felt to really be believed. Um, again, the cable is amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing as far as durability. As far as... EMI mitigation, 
The one thing you have to consider when I say this cable is rated to 10 million flex cycles and a super, super flexible cable, I mean really flexible, is that this cable is double shielded. Okay, now take that into consideration, which means that you're mitigating both frequencies of EMI. So again, very, very unique cable and rest assured uh, to get this made, Anybody will let you know this is not cheap, okay? I guess cable right now, double shielded, if you can find it, is usually about 6 to $7 a foot. Uh, I'm going to be well underneath that with this cable. This is one of the prototypes. I wanted, um, I wanted Shan to have uh, one of these cables mainly because, again, it's a gift in the sense that uh, he's supported me for years. I'm going to put his website up. It's Works Holsters. He does some amazing work. You guys need to check out his website. It's beautifully done. Okay, guys, this is works.com, uh, and you can see, I'm not kidding around, he did a beautiful job on this website, and his work is really amazing. You guys really need to check it out. Uh, he deals with military as well as civilian-based firearms. Uh, again, really, really well-designed website. You can see now, because I get a lot of questions on different website designs, what works, what doesn't work. I think this is really simple. It's really efficient. And again, it carries over into understanding, build an, append an appendix rig, uh, carry the way you want. I mean, he's got all the details covered, his returns, contacts. Again, real, real simple layout, but super effective. Check this site out if you're into firearms. I think you'll be very impressed. Um, and again, uh, not much else to say here. Uh, this cable also is impervious to oils. Okay, the exterior casing is very, very similar to a silicone. It's, it's very pliable, very pliable. And again, super easy to work with. In this particular instance, though, it's unique in that the cable is actually a little wider because we have all the internal yarn features inside this cable, and it's actually a little wider, so I machined out as GX16. You can see right there, it fits perfectly in for the actual uh, the VFD cable and he's got a very, very unique cable, and again, it'll last the life of the system. Finish it off with the heat shrink here. Not, not such a wide boot, and the main reason that is because it's gonna be going into the actual VFD. He's all set there, and you can see those are soldered and crimped, and he's ready to go, okay? So, Shan, I, I hope you are not offended by me giving you some gifts. <laughs> uh, these are unique, but I wanted to highlight this because I want you guys to know I'm never sleeping. This is something I always deal with with progression, these power supplies have taken me quite some time to design, but I feel overall it's a great investment because it's definitely going to eliminate extra work on anyone building a system. And you can see now all we have is our ground bus. Like I said, we've eliminated all that extra work when we deal with daisy chaining or having to split a power supply because we're out of terminals. So that should no longer be the case, not with 10 outputs on V positive and V negative. Other than that, you can see all the work in the system. He's got the GX16 three pins for any switches or accessories he wants to add there. He's got another GX16 three pin over here for another output. And again, the uh, VFD output's already allocated here. And what's beautiful about using a six pin, I've said this previously, is that not only are you able to control all of the signals coming from the gecko to manipulate the RPM on the VFD, but you're also able to integrate the actual relay signals all in one connector. So he uses one cable, all done. Okay, so again, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed some of the highlights of what's coming out. I've gotten asked on my uh, motion control software package. It will be out shortly. Uh, right now, believe it or not, I'm trying to keep my head above where I'm getting many, many orders. And these systems take the most time. Okay, without a doubt, they take the most time. So again, custom orders are always going to come first. I have to fulfill those orders, and then I'm working on that. But believe me, I'm not sleeping on it. Okay, and I've worked with, like I said, I've got a lot of Russian engineers that are counting on this, and I'm counting on it as well, and I think it's going to make a huge dent in what's currently on the market. So I think you guys will be, it'll be well worth the wait. I guess that's the best way to say it. So again, to all my subscribers and Shan, especially you, please guys check out uh, his website. It's works.com. It's works holsters. If you guys are into firearms, I'm telling you right now, he's got some, he does some beautiful work. Check it out. Um, Overall, again, you can message me direct if you have any questions, require co quotes, consultations, storm2313 at gmail.com. You can also message me uh, through my eDealer store, eDealer Direct. 
Uh, I'll put the links in the description, always in the front now and at the back of the end of the video, so you guys will be set. Thank you all for your support, especially you, Shen. Thank you so much. Take care.